In today's video, we will design this minimal and dynamic letter mark by using simple grids. This letter mark is the combination of letter E and letter K. Now let's continue with the design process in Adobe Illustrator. First of all, go to File and select New. Then select the units to pixels, select the width of your page to 1920 and height to 1080 pixels. Then select OK. If your Illustrator preview isn't appearing like this, then simply go to this workspace menu and select Essentials Classic. Now we will design our logo with the help of grids. So simply go to View and select Show Grid. Again go to View and make sure to enable this option which says Snap to Grid. Then select the Pen tool and draw a line from this position to this one. Simply press Enter to complete the shape. Select the Selection tool and to make a copy of this line, simply hold down the alternate key and drag it like this. Now we will make 4 more copies of this line. So simply press Ctrl D 4 times. Then select all of these lines, right click and select group. Then go to edit, select copy, again go to edit and select paste in front. Then select the rotate tool and select the value of angle to 60. Again go to edit, select copy, then select paste in front. Then select this reflect tool. Select horizontal axis, then select OK. Once you are done, simply select the selection tool, select all of these shapes, right click and select ungroup. And now to design our logo, we will select shape builder tool. Then select this orange color. And now simply drag the cursor like this. Then select the selection tool. Deselect all of these shapes and now we will simply select these three parts. So hold down the shift key, select this one, this one and also this one. Go to edit and select cut. Then select all of these unwanted shapes and press delete. Also we doesn't need this grid, so go to view and select hide grid. Then go to edit and select paste in front. Now simply apply this black color. And to reduce the dimensions, hold down the shift key like this. Now let's make a copy of this one by holding down the alternate key. Again make a copy like this. Now this design is okay, but I think that the gap is too much. So to reduce this gap, let's experiment with different stroke values. Simply select this one and apply it a stroke value to 10 points. And for this one, Apply it a stroke value to 14 points. And I personally like this one. So select all of these parts, go to object, select path, then select outline stroke. Then go to window, select pathfinder and select unite. You may have a different opinion, but I really like this one as it provides minimal, bold and dynamic visual. And with this, we are done with our logo design by using grids. If you learned something, then give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more awesome content. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.